Hey guys, it's me, Edward Vane, and for today we are going to review the new Z11 mechanical keyboard. Alright guys, let's go. Alright guys, here is the box. The box looks absolutely great. Well designed too, it looks like a really cool company and package. Now inside the box you get the keyboard, you get the manual, the Type-C cable, not braided but it is L-shaped. You get an extra space bar, an extra escape key over here with a switch puller and a keycap puller and two more red switches. So that's basically it. So let's plug this thing to my computer. Here it is guys. Now the RGB of this looks absolutely amazing. It has multiple RGB effects as well. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, 20 lighting effects. Wow, that, I have to say, is amazing. Now, let's check the stabilizers. Let's start with the shift. Let me put the phone near this thing. Backspace. Okay, shift, enter. And last but not the least, the space bar. All right, the stabilizers sound pretty good. Yeah. The space bar, of course, sounds a little bit hollow, but what do you expect from a non-modded board? Okay. Really nice. So as you can see from the back, there are some kickstands over here. Okay. That's good. Let me just... Use the kickstands. There you go. Really nice. Okay. Now let's check the let's check the pins. How many pins does it have? And the switches, of course. Okay, guys. So it looks like for the switches, it is a red Huanu switch. Okay, we're using Huanu switches here, which is totally not bad. Yeah, I think those are the new standard switches for you know mechanical keyboard standard switches. Back then it was Optimu, but nowadays it's either Jishin or Huanu. Okay? Pretty nice. And by the way, for the PCB, as you can see here, it's only three pin, right? So not bad. So let's take a look at the typing and the sound test. All right, guys. So let's take a look at the sound of the board first. Space bar. Shift. Caps lock and backspace. Letters. Pretty good. Really not bad. And I haven't mod this at all. Right, now let's take a look at the typing test. Right, let's do something simple here. Let's just do around maybe 25 words. All right. So I don't have to show what I'm typing here, right? So, so let's just focus on the sound and let's go. Yeah, I really like the sound and feel of this, okay? Very good. Very good stock switches. Okay guys, here's my opinion of this keyboard. I absolutely love it. Now this is the new version. As you know, I've reviewed a Z11 before, but that version was only single colored. This one is RGB with 20 lighting effects. It has a detachable cable, kickstands, hot swappable, and very good stock stabilizers and switches. 
It's absolutely amazing. Only 1,100 pesos in Shopee. By the way, Shopee links below. Now, what don't I like about this? Well, there's one issue that I have. They got rid of the print screen button. The old version has a print screen button, but here it doesn't have one. Why? Why oh why? The print screen button is very important for me because as you know, I'm an influencer and I like to save and take pictures and print screen documents. That is a really important thing for me. Okay, so why is there no print screen button? If there was a print screen button, this might be my main board. This is incredible, okay? But there's just one big issue, no print screen button. Why oh why, okay? If this had a, you know, rainbow lighting effect but has a print screen button, I will choose that over this, okay? So, if you're probably thinking, I told you guys that the best budget mechanical 60% keyboard is the K620. Now, that costs around 800 to 850 pesos. This costs 1,100. What's the main difference between the two? Basically, it's the RGB. The K620 was rainbow, this is RGB. So, RGB is more expensive than rainbow. But again, the K620 has the print screen. So basically, it's the battle of lighting effects here. Now, which keyboard do you want? Well, if you guys don't mind that there's no print screen, you should buy this. It is a major steal. This is also better than the Red Dragon Fizz, okay? The Red Dragon Fizz also doesn't have a print screen, but it costs more. This costs less, and it is incredible. Again, amazing feel, stock stabilizers, and sound as well, okay? And the best part is you can also make this sound better with a few mods here and there. Again, is this better than the K620? Really up, up to you, okay? If you don't mind rainbow lighting effects and if you print screen a lot, go with the K620. But if you don't mind that there's no print screen, buy this. And I guarantee you it's better than the Red Dragon Fizz. Once again, 1,100 only. Shopee link or Lazada link below. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching this review. And also, if you want more of my content, please like my Facebook page. Comment below what you think of this board or if you're going to buy one. And of course, subscribe. Okay, guys, bye.